Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your October 2018 general reading. Thank you everyone for your continued support and all my new subscribers, welcome. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you stay tuned and stick around and I hope this resonates with you. Uh, for those of you that joined me on Instagram and voted for my October decks to use for my October readings, Healing Light Tarot and the Deviant Moon deck is what made what, what everyone voted for that you wanted to see for the October readings. Um, once again, thank you everyone for liking, sharing, and subscribing for all your support. High Priestess, yes. I've got a lot of people who have been getting the High Priestess. Maybe you're going into Hermit mode. Uh, October is definitely the month if you're contemplating getting a reading. Uh, King of Wands, um, if you are really on that track to doing some inner work, October really is the month to get in touch with your inner self and your higher self. Two of Wands, okay. You're going back and forth on something. And really just expand and figure out what it is that you need to really work on in terms of self-development in terms of purging out the old, welcoming the new. Page of Wands. Okay, so remember this is a general reading. Not all general readings resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. What I do, that Page of Wands doesn't want to go back in, right? So some of you have been contemplating making some big changes. However, it's been in contemplation mode for quite some time and have not been able to, um, you know, put some action into it. You're maybe a little defensive about it, the fact that I even said that. But um, I feel as though you're standing your ground in something particular here. If there is a relationship or a partnership or a specific idea that you have, look at that two of wands, that you have just kind of dug your heels in as though this is what's gonna happen, this is how it's gonna happen. Knight of Pentacles. You've been on that slow path to develop the way you've wanted. Emperor and the Eight of Swords. What is going on with you guys? Okay. Stuck in your head about whether or not to take action, take control on a specific situation. You want wish fulfillment. You have not put the effort into it in terms of action. I don't want to say that you haven't put any effort in in terms of, you know, thinking things through, planning things out. It is about putting action into it. You've really put a lot of thought into what it is that you want, how you want to manifest something, a relationship, a business, making changes. Uh, but now, you know, October, you're really feeling that this is the time for you to change. This is the time for you to move forward from putting in, you know, the action into your plans. So when I do personal readings, for those of you that are interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. When I do personal readings, I generally grab a deck, random deck, and I tap into your um, 222. Okay, I just saw the time. And I tap into your energy. So sometimes, five of wands. Sometimes, uh, some of you have inner conflict that you're dealing with. Sometimes what happens is you have your mindset on a specific goal or something specific, a specific situation, a relationship that you want clarity on. But spirit will sometimes say, well, guess what? You know, you're not focusing or you're not paying attention on something else. And these are the messages that are going to come through. So just to give you an idea of how I do personal readings. Uh, justice cards. So if some of you are awaiting a legal case, turn of events in your legal case, or are thinking of pursuing something in the legal field, whether it be a job or you're thinking of pressing charges, you're thinking of starting something, uh, you know that this is something that you need to go to court for, but you are not feeling, you're just kind of afraid of opening up Pandora's box is what I'm feeling. You're afraid it's gonna backfire you backfire on you. Queen of Wands. Again, it's time for you to take action. So let's get started with your general reading. What does Cancer need to be aware of? Emperor. 
what does cancer need to be aware of for the month of October 2018. Most important messages, please. What do they have to know? What do they have to, okay, three of swords in the reverse. Very good. Three of wands, nice. Okay, I like this. I love that it has nothing to do with the cards I just pulled a minute ago. The Justice card, here we go. And of course, one of those cards flew out, okay. Cancer, October 2018, most important messages. Too many cards flew out, however, I will show them to you. The Sun card, the Seven of Swords, Nine of Cups and the Five of Wands. So you're just kind of wanting that happily ever after. You want to be happy. However, there's a lot of inner turmoil, inner conflict in terms of how you want to get to that place. You feel as though there's going to have to be a need for some less than, I don't want to say ethical, but less than, you know, healthy ways. Some of you, I feel, want to ghost someone because you're just like, I don't want to deal with their bullshit or their drama, right? Four of Wands and the Hierophant. That's what I'm feeling. Anyway, let's continue. Cancer, October 2018. What's going on? Three of Swords reversed. Three of Wands. Justice card, and now we have the World card. One more card, please. Five of Swords came out again. Okay. So what I'm what I'm feeling here really. Venus retrograde is about to hit us October fifth. Hopefully, I get this uploaded before then. <laughs> I've been super busy. Thank you for those that booked personal readings in the month of September. So three of swords in the reverse with the three of wands, the justice card, the world, and the five of swords. Now, there is some inner conflict, inner turmoil that you have, you've been trying to get away from. It's almost as though, my little hands, it's almost as though you, some of you have been a little bit petty it's a fight that you know you need to stop fighting, but you just can't help it. It's almost as though, like, you don't want to let go. You want to have the last say, the last word, but the one that really is going to have the last say, the last word here, is the one who ultimately walks away in peace. Because you may be with the one that's going to keep, you know, poking at the bear, so, you know, so to speak. But they're turning your, their back on that bullshit. And remember, it could be vice versa as well. It could be you who's turning your back on that bullshit, somebody else's bullshit. And the one that walks away in peace is the one that wins, not the one that has the last say or the last word. Because essentially... That person is still enraged. That person is still, you know, feeling emotionally imbalanced, feeling, you know, all kinds of ugly feelings inside that, you know, don't make, don't make them proud. Don't make them feel good about it. And then their road to healing and releasing ends up just taking longer. So with Venus retrograde coming in on the fifth, three of swords in reverse, shit from the past has come up. And I'm guessing, I'm willing to bet that this came up way before October. This kind of started trying to show its face sometime in September. You're feeling, you know, different things, different emotions, different feelings coming in. Once that Venus retrograde comes in, you now start to realize, okay, this is the kind of shit that I don't want repeated. This is the kind of shit that I just don't want in my energy, in my environment. It's not healthy for me. It's not what I want. I don't want to be petty. I don't want to live with this inner turmoil. 
I don't want to, you know, be able to see, hear, smell something without the sadness, the depression, the anxiety, the, you know, anger coming back. You want to continue healing. You want to look ahead towards your future, knowing you have come to the realization that, yeah, maybe that shit from the past, it was not the right thing to do, whether it was on you, whether it was on them. But how you respond to that and how you move forward is your justice card. Because essentially you say, that's it. I'm shaking the bullshit off. I'm putting an end to the inner turmoil. I'm sorry if you're not, if, if, if you're miserable that I'm happy because I've released it and I've let it go. But the winner here is whoever walks away in peace. Do you want to be the one standing there with all the swords thinking, ha ha, I've won? Blinded by your own arrogance, thinking that you did win and it may or may not hit you right away that, hello, you're still harping on old shit. Did you really win? The one that walks away in peace is the one that wins. So is that going to be you or is that going to be them? Let's grab some Deviant Moon Tarot cards here. In any case, the one that does walk away in peace, the one that does finally find their inner, be inner peace, inner balance, harmony, is the one that walks away. Because they can now pursue whatever makes them happy. They do the inner work. They heal. Venus retrograde is most absolutely going to bring about old relationships, exes, ex-friends, ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends, ex-husbands, whatever exes or whatever relationships did not turn out the way you had wanted in the past. They will resurface and maybe you don't want them to resurface. But let me tell you, it is a lesson to be learned. Why don't you want them to resurface? If they still get under your skin, it's for a reason. It's because you have not dealt with it yet. Eight of Wands. And so that communication from the past definitely comes in. You'll get a text. You'll get a social media message. You'll get a phone call. Queen of Wands. You might even get some 2 a.m., 3 a.m. text message. What you doing? What do you think I'm doing, fool? Right? Five of Cups and the Chariot. Because guess what? People from your past at 2 in the clock in the morning maybe had too many drinks. Start thinking, start wondering what you are up to. Right? Okay. I think I've got a little bit of a glare here. Let me move these up. Hopefully you can see all of them. Okay. Sorry for the glare, guys. Really need to fix my lighting. Okay. So with the Eight of Wands, Queen of Wands, Five of Cups, the Chariot card, Page of Cups, Thus, that's the nine of swords, but the 10 of wands in reverse. And that is how we want to end October. You start off the month healing from the past, healing from old heartache, old disappointments, old bullshit. You start feeling more optimistic about your future. You said, you know what? I have been through hell and back. I deserve, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to shoot for this month. I deserve that loving partner. I deserve that promotion. I deserve that house. You know, I deserve to treat myself, whatever it might be. Right, Cancer? And you really come into your own. You really realize that it's time to live my best life. You have given away 
so much time and energy into other people's bullshit that has caused inner conflict, that has caused you to deal with other people's arrogance and pain. And so expect that communication to come in in the month of October. Expect that text, that message, that, you know, voicemail, that missed call, that email. Because some people are also experiencing the same thing, but you're one step ahead of them. You've already been on this path. You've already been on the path of healing, of putting it behind you. Don't let old boy, don't let old shit reel you back in because you have made so much progress. Because the minute they come ahead and they start communicating and they start, you know, reminding you of the good times and you know you don't want that again. They're start at, starting to ask for forgiveness and you're just like, I'm good. I'm in a better place. And it's like, you're like this, like, I don't want to hear it. Those cups have been spilled. I don't want to hear it. And they're like, no, you're going to listen to me. I want to get back together. I want to work things out. And if you do, great. Put everything out on the table. Communicate clearly. Make sure that you don't go through those anxious times from the past, right? Make sure that before you charge ahead, offering your cup of love or accepting someone's cup of love, that all the cards are on the table and that you both have a clear understanding of where do we go from here. That you both have a clear understanding of this is what didn't work in the past and I don't want this to repeat itself. Are we in agreement of that? And so how are we going to work together to move past it? Because for a very long time, Cancer, you had that monkey on your back that weighed on you so heavily. You couldn't shake their energy. It was very difficult for you to move past this. And if this isn't in a love relationship, if this was a business partnership, if this was about a job, you are healing from rejection and disappointment. So be careful of half-assed offers that come in in the month of October. If this is an offer that seems legit to you, that you've been waiting on, Get clear, make sure you know all the sides of the story. Make sure you know everything that it comes with. Because you've been doing the inner work. You've been healing. You've been trying to move forward. You've been doing you, Cancer, and that's what you should be doing. Charge ahead victoriously without any residual past pain, anxiety, emotional energy that weighed on you so heavily because you end the month dropping all those freaking wands that burdened you. You said enough is enough. I was doing so good until X, Y, Z happened, right? And so now what are we going to do? How are we going to close out the month by dropping those wands? Simple as that. I know nothing's ever simple. But trust me, because you've already started doing the inner work for those of you that have, you end the month in a much lighter way. So what is the most important message from the angels that Cancer needs to hear for the month of October 2018? Pisces got this as well. Angel Athena, it is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna pull another one, even though I did shuffle. I feel as though you, you do need that one as well, another one. Victory, your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. Again, this reinforces all the inner work you've been doing. You're on the right path. It is okay to cut out the bullshit. It is okay to cut out those people that, you know, you don't need in your life anymore because, you know, they're negative Nellies or they, they'd rather see you fail than to see you moving up. It's okay. As we grow, as we evolve, we start seeing people relationships and situations for who and what they really are. Archangel Michael, please bless us with the message for cancer in the month of October 2018. What is the most important message you have for cancer? October 2018, please. Keep your eyes on your targeted intention. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action toward realizing my dreams. So you have a specific plan in mind. You have a specific relationship, situation, outcome, whatever it might be. You realize, you know, this, this person maybe isn't the best choice for me. You realize this job, this home, this whatever it may be, isn't the best for me. So it comes down to doing the inner work and really, really coming into being in tune with yourself and saying, you know what I do want? If and when I buy my house, it must have X, Y, Z. If it's a, if it's a relationship, you're trying to manifest your dream partner, your soulmate. This is what I want in a soulmate partner. This is what I want in my love life partner. This is what I want in my partner in crime, whatever it may be. Maybe you're looking for a BFF instead of a boyfriend or a girlfriend, right? Be clear. Know what you want, what will make you happy and fulfilled. So Whispers of Love Oracle, please let me have a Whispers of Love Oracle for Cancer in the month of October 2018, please. What is the most important love message that Cancer needs to hear for October 2018? Two of them, okay. And so you've cut away the old and you know that it's time for the new. Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. New love. Embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work, opportunities, or spiritual growth, which is essentially what I had just said here, right? So if this is about like trying to manifest a new love to come in, if this is about manifesting the right career, the right job for you, everything, apply it to your situation. If you're in a dead-end job, but you're looking for something more satisfying, something more fulfilling, a job that you will absolutely love, that's your new love. So as you are releasing the dead weight, as you are releasing the shit that does not work for you, just cut out the excess, cut out the fat, cut out the bullshit that does you no good. Focus on your inner work, Focus on making yourself happy and keep your eyes on your targeted intention. Know that it is safe for you to be powerful and you will be victorious. Remember, the one that walks away in peace is really the winner here. So that was your reading, Cancer, for October 2018. That was your general reading. Again, thank you so much for all of you who have supported me from the very beginning and all you new subscribers that I have now. I absolutely appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, thank you so much again. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, your love reading is coming up next, so stay tuned for that. If you are subscribed or maybe you're thinking of subscribing, make sure you hit the bell so that you know when that next reading is coming up. I will try to get you guys a mid-month reading. I have so many appointments booked this month. Uh, speaking of appointments, I am running an October special, October reading special. 
uh, October 31st, Halloween, last day to book for the 10:30 run. The tw- uh, sorry, 10:31 reading, 10 card Celtic spread, Celtic cross spread. Come on, girl, get it together. 10 card Celtic cross spread for 31 US dollars. The information is in the description box below. You can book automatically. Send me a DM through Instagram or email me and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you so much for all of you. We'll see you in your love reading. Bye.